Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Samsung Galaxy S2 TouchWiz Ice Cream Sandwich Port on the Nexus S4 G. I'm going to review what uh, it looks like, what Samsung has decided to do with Ice Cream Sandwich. It is an early alpha build and it is a leaked build from the Samsung Galaxy S2 so not much works at all. It'll be very laggy but it, it's still a good uh, review of what they included. They do have a new lock screen. It's actually a very, very cool lock screen. Um, as you can see, no icons or anything, but when you press, it lights up uh, an unlock screen, unlock uh, icon, and when you go outside the circle, it unlocks your uh, screen. So if I don't go outside the circle, then it'll, it'll stay locked. But I can press anywhere. So as you can see, you can press anywhere on the home screen and then choose to unlock it. So if I I unlock it. So as you can see, I went outside that circle and then unlocked it. Right away, as you can see, it uh, does have TouchWiz 4.0. In, in case you're an Nexus S4 G owner, don't get too excited. Nothing pretty much works. Um, I mean, it'll boot and some apps work, but it's your radio doesn't work, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. So this is not like a daily driver. It's just kind of a little thing you can do an overview. I do want to give a shout out and huge thanks to my friend uh, Swamp Goblin. He is the developer for um, this port, and he did a really nice job porting it, getting it booting, so huge thanks to him. But as I said, you got TouchWiz 4 launcher. It looks like you got some similar icons to uh, TouchWiz right now, but up in the notification bar, let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, you got the stock ice cream sandwich uh, clock as well as battery icon, the blue, nice light blue. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down. And as you can see, you got a, a different themed notification bar. You actually got quick panel widgets up at the top just like on gingerbread you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, auto rotation and silent mode that light up green when you select them. Other than that you got a nice uh, grayish background to everything so just a little different right there from ice cream sandwich. Also when you're on the lock screen let's see if I can get back to it you can pull down on the notification bar so if, just like that as you can see, just like an ice cream sandwich, so you know that'll work. Other than that, as I said, TouchWiz 4 launcher, the latest TouchWiz launcher. I don't know if they're going to create a new launcher or not. I'm honestly not too sure. But icons, look, they're similar uh, icons to ice cream sandwich as well as similar ones to TouchWiz 4.0 on other devices as well, other like the Samsung Galaxy S2 calendar icons, the same galleries, the same cameras, the same settings as ice cream sandwich style. My files is the same talk as ice cream sandwich style. So as you can see, you got uh, diff different icons on some of the apps. So definitely something different. That's a, It's actually really cool. Let's check out the dialer. Dialer looks very similar to current TouchWiz phones. As you can see, you do have an extra option right here. I'm honestly not too sure what that option does. Maybe if you type in a number, you can save it as a contact or something. I honestly don't know. But up at the top, you got logs and favorites over there. Let's go ahead and check out the contacts application, see what they did with it. And as you can see, you got your contacts, you got groups and favorites right there. I don't know if you can swipe left and right doesn't seem like it but you got favorites groups and contacts in your contacts app um, other than that that's that's just a quick overview as you can see they definitely tried to keep things touch with I'm gonna hit menu go to settings as you can see the settings menu is different you got your Wi-Fi Bluetooth data usage all your wireless and network settings sound another added one that they added is power saving so you got power saving for your device. Other you got sound display, storage apps, battery, counts and sync, uh, language and input, and another one motion which the Galaxy S2 devices have the motion options. So you've got that those as options as well. Other than that, I'm gonna go to about phone, scroll down, as you can see build number at the bottom, GTI ninety one hundred. So as you can see it's from Galaxy S2 device, but nothing special. I mean, it is pretty cool that uh, we got it booting. Doesn't seem like too much of a difference, but it is TouchWiz overlay to ice cream sandwich. I prefer stock 
ice cream sandwich over Touch Whiz, but I also prefer stock gingerbread over uh, the Touch Whiz gingerbread ROMs. Um, but as you can see, you got uh, widgets very similar to the current uh, Touch Whiz ROMs. You got application monitor, so let's go ahead and place that on the home screen. I don't know if it's going to load or not. It's laggy, as you can see, so I'm going to hit back and go to the applications oh it opened up so you got downloaded ram storage another one thing i do let's go ahead and press and hold on the home button okay so they did decide to keep the running apps and the recent apps thing going which i'm very happy about it's actually a very cool feature about ice cream sandwich how you can quickly go to apps or swipe to exit out of them if you so choose so that it's nice that they did keep that i'm very pleased there's no recent apps when you close out of them um, but other than that, that's that's really about it. Uh, uh, some nice features is the lock screen for sure. I really, really like this lock screen. They did a really nice job with that. It's very intuitive, very cool idea. I can't get to the messaging app. Um, other any other apps, my files is about the same. It's pretty much the exact same. Go through your files if you uh, want to. You do have that nice light blue over scroll glow, as you can see. But other than that, that's that's about it. Just a quick preview of what Samsung is trying to do with Ice Cream Sandwich. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from all you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.